Welcome to the WP Builds Podcast, bringing you the latest news from the WordPress community. Now, welcome your hosts, David Wormsley and Nathan Wrigley. Hello there and welcome to the WP Builds Podcast. This is episode 121, entitled Automate Your Social Postings Using Social Web Suite with Tina Todorovic. It was published on Thursday the 28th of March 2019. My name's Nathan Wrigley from pictureandword.co.uk, a small web development agency based in the north of England. A few things before we begin. If you wouldn't mind heading over to the wpbuilds.com website, there's a few pages I'd like you to look at. Go to the subscribe link at the top and there's a couple of mailing lists you can sign up for. The first one is to get you onto the emails for this podcast and the WordPress weekly news that we do on a Monday. And there's some other links on there. So for example, it will allow you to access the podcast feed on iTunes and the Google Podcast app. You can join our Facebook group and we post everything uh, into there, as well as our YouTube channel where we post everything. You can also get messenger updates and you can also join our Slack channel. And we use that primarily just to just to keep in touch with you as well. The next thing I'm going to mention is the deals page. If you go to forward slash deals, then you can find a whole bunch of WordPress product deals. There's 20% off this and 25% off that. Things like Project Huddle, Wallace Inline, Groundhog, If So, WP Ultimo, Main WP, Blog Vault, Malcare, Toolset, and a whole bunch of other things. So if you're in the mood to buy some WordPress plugins, it might be worth going to that page to check it out and see if you can get yourself some money off. Go to the webinars page and you can sign up to a couple of webinars. We've got four coming up. We've got, well, funnily enough, we've got Tina Todorovic from Social Web Suite, the, um, the, the purpose of today's podcast. We've also got Chris Badgett from Lifter LMS and we've got Moore Cohen from designclass.io and Arindo Duque from WP Admin Pages Pro. So I would encourage you to go and check those out. Even if you don't join us, if you sign up, we'll send you a link to the video after it's done. And possibly the last one I'm going to mention today is advertise, forward slash advertise, where you can find out about our ads. We've got banner ads and audio inserts. Speaking of which, the WP Builds podcast is brought to you today by the Page Builder Framework. Do you use a Page Builder to create your websites? Well, the Page Builder Framework is a mobile, responsive, and lightning fast WordPress theme that works with Beaver Builder, Elementor, Breezy, and other Page Builders. With its endless customization options in the WordPress customizer, it's the perfect fit for you or your agency. Go to wp pagebuilderframework.com today. And we do thank all of our sponsors for the WP Builds podcast and keeping the lights on over here. Very much appreciated indeed. Okay, today we have Tina Todorovic from Social Web Suite. And she's talking about her WordPress plugin. Her and her husband have set up this plugin. And really it's aimed for content creators who are tired of clicking publish in WordPress and then having to go to Facebook, Facebook pages, Facebook groups, Twitter accounts, and so on and so forth to publish things. This plugin will automate all of those things so that you press publish in WordPress and it gets sent to all of the different places at different times according to how you set up your schedule. It's very cool and like I say, if you are interested from listening to the podcast, head over to the web webinars page and you can find out about how it works on a live webinar and you can see exactly what's going on in the admin. I hope you enjoy today's episode. Hello there, thank you for getting to the interview part of the WP Builds podcast, really appreciate it. Today on the line from Toronto, we have Tina Todorovic. Hi. Hi, Nathan. Thank you so much for uh, having me here. And thank you so much for uh, correctly pronouncing my last name. <laughs> uh, we, we, <laughs> this we, is such a joy. <laughs> yeah, confess we had a little bit of a practice beforehand, but I got it right first time. You got um, it right. Yay. Yeah, the <laughs> the, this is quite an interesting one because although it will mean nothing to you, our listeners, uh, Tina and I have tried and failed so many times to have this conversation because I don't know, I was ill, she was ill, we were both ill. And <laughs> here we are. So finally... Finally, we've made it on 
onto the call. Tina has got a really interesting um, plugin for WordPress. Uh, I, I can't see anybody not being able to make use of it. But for me, it's got a whole heap of uses because I produce content regularly. It's called Social Web Suite. And you're going to go to socialwebsuite.com. No spaces, no hyphens, anything like that. And you can check it out there. But um, first of all, Tina, before we get stuck into the, the product, do you want to tell us a little bit about yourself and how you've come into the WordPress space and got into plugin development? Yes. So uh, my husband, uh, who is also the co-founder of uh, Social Web Suite, uh, and uh, yes, uh, we are husband and wife, (laughs) business partners, and uh, we can tackle that afterwards because that's (laughs) the first first thing that everybody asks us. Oh, my goodness. How how is that going on? (laughs) Life and business partners. So, yeah, it's not always uh, roses, but it's fun. (laughs) Uh, so, uh, so my husband is a developer, right? And uh, he started going into WordPress when uh, he actually got a gig at the uh, enterprise company here in Toronto, and they they were thinking of uh, making a WordPress site for their uh, news, like large uh, news media. Mm-hmm. And uh, so he went to the uh, WordCamp Toronto actually, uh, 2013. Uh, uh, and he met a uh, few people there, and he really liked it. And then in 2014, it was uh, work, uh, WordCamp Montreal. And because I really, really love Montreal as a city, and people there and everything, um, he he told me to come with him. So I said, what, like, and I, I came from business world. I don't know anything about <laughs> web development. I don't know anything about coding and whatnot. So I told him, like, what should I do there? I don't, I, w- I will probably not understand any of the talks and those types of things. And he was like, no, 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 you will see everybody so friend and nicely, uh, friendly and nice. And I'm like, okay, let's go. So we went together to the uh, WordCamp Montreal, and uh, since then we if you haven't missed any <laughs> WordCamp Montreal. Uh, we we really like the people there and the community, and you know how WordPress community yeah, is really yeah. friendly and engaging, and you immediately start talking to everybody. And uh, that's the one thing that I really, really enjoyed, uh, as well as um, I know a lot of people are uh, that are starting with WordPress. They also have that mindset that uh, they don't know if they are going to understand any of the talks. Um, that's why on the WordCamps, you have like so many talks, like yes. so many different talks. Yep. You have like gear, uh, talks uh, geared to businesses, to design, to development, to a bunch of uh, topics. And uh, that's how I found out myself. And uh, the funny story is at that first WordCamp, I really, I didn't know that there are a few tracks, right? (laughs) So I sat at one room, but like I was lucky. I sat at one room and it was mostly like sort of a design slash business talk, right? Nice. And it was perfect for me, right? And then I sat there and, um, and. Like, I like the talks, and I didn't know that I could actually go, like, you know, uh, after first talk, I I could go to another room, right? I didn't, like, that was my first work. (laughs) So I I just sat there the whole time. (laughs) And, but I enjoyed, I enjoyed talks a lot. And since I am a person that actually likes to talk to people, <laughs> I am like completely opposite on introverts. <laughs> I, 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 I actually approach people and talk to them immediately. So <laughs> oh, after- <laughs> great. <laughs> so after that uh, first talk that I really, really enjoyed, um, I actually approached to the speaker and I told her, you know what, there is a WordCamp Toronto into, uh, because my husband already started getting involved with organizing and helping out with WordCamp Toronto in 2014. Mm-hmm. So I told her like, there is a WordCamp Toronto. Are you interested in coming to speak? Because like the, the talk is awesome. And she's very, very awesome speaker and like very well prepared and engaging and like knowledgeable. And she was like, oh, I don't know, I'm going to see, whatever. And then she came to Toronto and she told me that uh, the only reason why she applied to speak and came to Toronto is because of me. (laughs) Because I gave her that boost, right? Nice. And that's why I always say to people, like, you should, if you really like somebody's talk, you should always, you know, approach them. And it's like, it means a lot, you know, because... They like speakers are there, volunteers, they pay for their travel, they pay for their accommodations, they are they're preparing the talk a long time. And it really means a lot when somebody like validate that, like, you know, that that's like, okay, somebody appreciates all their time. And it's really 
simply validation for them that it's all worth it, right? Yeah. Somebody really likes the talk. Yeah. You um, so, you you say that you're a, a very sort of sociable person. It's kind of a, <laughs> yeah. kind of a perfect segue then to uh, to take us into the fact that you you and your husband together um, have a social plugin. Um, I guess <laughs> is this is this something that you created because you had a need for it, or is it something that you saw there was a gap in the market for something like this? Well, both. Hmm. Uh, we we actually how it all started is because uh, my husband was a contributor to the other uh, buffer mode post plugin. Okay, uh, right. And I don't know if that was an old plugin. That's basically connect WordPress site with the buffer. Yep. And uh, so he was a contributor there, and then. Uh, he he actually ended up like work like doing everything there, and he changed the code and whatever. And then he uh, he wanted to get the pro version, so he started talking to the developer. <clears throat> Can we do like a pro version and those types of things? And then the, the developer has some other uh, plans in his personal life, so he was not interested in. Uh, you know, working on a plugin, he didn't have time to mm. work on it, mm. so he just sold it to my husband. So uh, my husband took it over and uh, changed the code, like basically updated. You know how in WordPress you have to, you know, update all the time yeah, yeah. Uh, because of the changes. So he uh, updated the code and released the pro version. So that's how it all started. Basically, we have the, uh, we still have that plugin, but because of people are asking, like we're asking us a lot of questions, like a lot of new features, how to add like a bunch of stuff in a plugin. But because you have a plugin that it's actually, it just connects your WordPress site to the buffer. And yeah, the, yeah. all the things that people were asking us is related to buffer. So we cannot, like we are not <laughs> developers of buffer, right? We cannot change <laughs> things yes. that they are already are. So that's how we figured it out. Oh my goodness, there is a need for this because like so many, like we we, we, we used to have like at least one ma email daily asking us about things that we couldn't change that are related to buffer. Mm. So we figured out, okay, look, how about instead of like, you know, saying all those people know. How about we try to to make our own social media a platform? Yeah. Well, I mean, I like I said, this is perfect for somebody like me. I'll I will try and describe what it does, and then when I fall short and simply undersell it, you 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 <laughs> tell me what I did wrong. But essentially, you know, if you're a modern blogger, you produce a podcast, you create any content whatsoever, the the problem is that you press publish, and that's kind of where it ends. You know, these days, there's so much content being created, it's hard to be noticed. So what we all try and do uh, is as soon as you press publish is you go over to Facebook and you copy the URL and write a short excerpt and press publish over there and then you go to Twitter and do the same thing and then you go over to Instagram and whatever, do the same thing. And before you know it, you've spent as long going all to, to all these different platforms, writing the bits and pieces uh, as you did creating the piece of content in the first place. <laughs> so this plugin is built into WordPress. You link all of your social accounts and you press publish once and then it pushes it out to all of those social accounts, but it does more in that it will create kind of like um, uh, events in the future for you as well, a little bit like Buffer does. I'm going to stop there. Have I? Is that about right? Yes, yes. Right. Basically, yes. Uh, the the uh, the good thing is the well better thing than uh, others is that yeah that that has a deep integration with WordPress and then we are pulling out uh, all the uh, categories, meta tags, everything from the word. Press, right. Uh, the mm -hmm. other thing is that we also have the recycling or uh, repurposing your old posts. Yes. So because you know you are a content creator and you have a lot of posts and like podcasts and a lot of content everywhere, uh, but unfortunately not everybody has the time to create a lot of content or they are not. Uh, you know they are not doing that so they want to and they want to repurpose their old posts you know how it on twitter there is like only like your message is only visible for a few seconds like mm -hmm. maybe even a minute mm -hmm. and you have to post it like a few times if you want people to see it right yes so um so that's why uh, our uh, plugin and uh, uh, platform is perfect for that as well so basically you can just uh, schedule it 
whenever you want it to to be uh, repeated, and then it repeats every week. Okay, let's draw that back in a little bit and go into yes. go, go into some detail about how it all mm-hmm. works. I suppose one of the first questions that's always going to be asked is which of the social networks or platforms um, outside of WordPress can we hook up to Social Web Suite? Yes. So uh, for now, we have integrations with uh, Twitter, uh, Facebook uh, pages and groups, because fe- Facebook profile is no longer, uh, no third party tools can, uh, can post to Facebook profile anymore since yes. last year. Yes. And yeah, <laughs> uh, and uh, LinkedIn uh, profile and company page. Uh, the uh, Instagram integration is coming soon as well. Great. Uh, we don't have well the, we wanted to uh, get the google plus but we will not now because you know they're closing they're down they're closing so it that's right yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. so and then uh, after instagram we're going to do pinterest as well yes and we also have the integration with youtube oh okay that's intriguing okay so yeah. let me just recap that so you've got facebook multiple locations twitter mm-hmm. linkedin multiple locations um mm-hmm. you've also got the the capability in the future you're saying pinterest and instagram which i think probably yes. is the other two that most people are using yes. um that that would be a good question to ask at this point is what's what are there any others apart from those two that you're thinking about adding on i know for example that the generation of my daughter who's you mm-hmm. know a teenager she she's using all sorts of apps that i've not n- no familiarity with like um snapchat and things like that are, are there any others planned as well uh you know what for now uh instagram basically what we, how we integrate with others uh platforms is from our users feedback right mm-hmm. so they are asking us do you have instagram or Great. when are you gonna implement and those types of things mm-hmm. and for now uh, all of our users are asking for Instagram and Pinterest. That's like those are the two. That's why we are obviously uh, doing the integrations with those two. Yep. And and then afterwards, if somebody, uh, if we have people like you know interest in other uh, platforms, then we're going to integrate. Obviously. Okay. Uh, the great thing is as well, uh, not only with WordPress. So we are RSS feed. Uh, we actually tested it, and we uh, integrate with Shopify, Squarespace, Wix, Weebly. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, that's interesting. So you've got an RSS feed <laughs> option. Well, how does yes. that work? Is that listening for RSS feeds on other platforms and then sucking it in to the the WordPress plugin and then posting it out to Facebook and whatnot? So basically, with the, on a platform, you can uh, connect your RSS feed or anybody else's RSS feed. It doesn't really matter. Okay. Uh, so you just go to the... For example, for the you know how for the WordPress site you go to the site and then yep. slash feed. That's yep. mostly your yep. uh, URL for the feed, right? Um, so you go there and then uh, you just add that um, RSS feed and then it will show up uh, all the posts from that feed. You just schedule it and that's it. Like uh, we will post from the newest to the oldest from that feed. Oh, that's fascinating. Okay, that's really interesting because so um, when you've well. got custom post types and categories mm-hmm. and things like that, you yes. know, you can have feeds for those categories. And sometimes yes. uh, creating a feed for a category within your WordPress website is is actually what you want to do, you know, not the main post yes. feed. Uh, so that that's really interesting. Yes. Yes. Um, so tell me, when something is posted out to Facebook, do mm-hmm. I have a, a lot of, well, Facebook and others, do I have much control over what goes out? So for example, um, does it automatically automatically take the ep- the excerpt or does it truncate the body can it post images and so on and so forth you have the full control yeah so basically we have uh so we have two type of users the type of users that they don't want to have like a much of, of control they want us to, to deal with everything uh we call them like set it and forget it <laughs> right that's what actually they uh when i was interviewing people like why are you like using us uh so they that's what they said <laughs> that's why i call them right. like that yeah. so they, they just want to hook up like their site with this and they don't want to deal they don't have time actually they want to yeah. you know spend their time uh doing their like helping with their business so basically, they, they just hook up, hook up the site and we, we do everything for them. So it's like all already set up. So you don't have to do anything if you don't want to. Uh, and then the other type of users are more uh, professionals, more experienced uh, content creators, social media managers. 
digital marketers that they they have they want to have full control over everything right yes and uh, and that's perfect for them as well so although we came like completely fully set up you have a control of everything so you can change anything you want uh yes we post uh, images obviously uh plus um we also have, uh, so we pulled either featured image from your WordPress website, okay. or if you have a meta tags, we pulled the image that you already put in like Yoast plugin or whatever, if you're using plugins for our site. Uh, so as I said, like, because we have a few different type of users, uh, featured images are for users that don't know what is like meta tags and like yes. open graph and yes. those types of things. So they can just attach a featured image to the post and that's it, they don't need to do anything else. Uh, the uh, we also have in our back end because uh, not everybody knows what's the best size image to be shown on Twitter or Facebook or LinkedIn and those types of things. Uh -huh. So sometimes our users have, for example, for a featured image, like the sizes that are not looking good, yes. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what we do in our background on an app, we actually track that. And if uh, it is not really the, the size that will look good on either Facebook or Twitter or whatever social profile that users are posting to, we resize it so it, it will look good. Oh, nice. Oh, that's great. So, so do. you don't even have to yeah. think about that. You just put yes. the, your image up and it will crop it for you and send it out. Oh, that's great. Yes, yes. I didn't realize Especially that. Especially because you know how every every social pro like uh, network, they have their own uh, special uh, rules for the images, oh, like yeah. how the sizes and, yeah. you know, if your uh, messages or posts or, you know, a special Facebook and LinkedIn as well. So yeah, that's that's the thing that we have as well in the back end. And uh, yeah, we have so many uh, different options uh, like uh, for, for their different messages. We even have uh, different options for each social profile. Basically, you can, uh, you can decide for each social profile to share different messages, different hashtags, uh, different everything. Okay, you and you create like a template then, do you? Here is my Facebook template and here is mm -hmm. my Twitter template and I want them to be slightly different and have yes. different hashtags and so on. Okay, yeah. that all makes perfect sense. So I set it up and I can forget it at that point if I wish. And then yes. when I publish something on my website, it will mm -hmm. it will take over and do all of that stuff without me thinking about it. Are there, yes. are there can I limit? So for example, can I turn it off for certain? Certain posts, so it'll do nothing. So yes. this post, I don't yes. want to be posted out. Uncheck the yes. box, and we're off. Yeah. Yes, yes, we have that. So basically, uh, what we uh, try to do is, and I hope we, we were successful with it. Uh, so we, uh, our plugin is really a lightweight plugin for a WordPress. So we try to be like lightweight as possible, yet still have some uh, settings within the plugin that are needed for like content creators. Um, so, uh, we are very proud that our plugin doesn't affect any, uh, performance or security or anything. Uh, uh, and we have been tested with a few, uh, hosting companies for that. Uh, so, uh, you have the settings within the WordPress text editor. So basically when you ah, are writing right. a post underneath, there are a few settings that you can do. Yep. So if you don't want that post to be shared, you just click uh, don't share this post and that's it. That, that post will never be shared. Okay. Uh, we also have uh, settings that, uh, that, uh, that is good, for example, for Christmas uh, promotions. So, for example, you ah. know, during the Halloween or Christmas or, you know, people have some kind of promotions and they yeah. are writing posts and those types of things. So, yeah, we have those as well. So basically you can just put like I want this post only to be shared between those dates and then you put these dates. And that will be uh, that post will only be shared between those two dates, and that's it. Like once when you uh, pro your promotion stops, the post will not go be shared anymore. Intriguing. Now, one of the so, um, one of the things that I really think is important when you're so mm -hmm. sharing this stuff out socially is the mm -hmm. the ability, as you alluded to earlier, not just mm -hmm. to do it once, because if yeah. if all it did was uh, send it out at the moment you press uh, publish, well. Half of the world's going to be asleep. The, yeah. <laughs> the other half will be doing something else. So exactly. I I think it's important to, well, not trying to be spammy, but yeah. try to create the same content, but recycled. Let's use that word. Yes. Recycle yes. the same thing. And I know that that's a big part of what you do. Um, yes. Tell us how that works. Are there any limitations? Can we share the same post an unlimited number of times? Can we kind of pick and choose the dates that it goes out on and so on? 
so yes, uh, we also have, well, because we obviously uh, have to follow rules and uh, terms of conditions for all the social networks that we integrate with, mm-hmm. right? So the, for example, uh, Twitter last year, uh, they changed a lot of rules. So one of those are that they, uh, they, they are not allowed in posting the same message uh-huh. all over again on the same Twitter account, right? So uh, with, our, uh, with, with our, uh, WordPress uh, plugin settings, you, we have like a custom messages. So custom message templates, we call them. So basically you can, uh, put like 12 different messages. And they will go instead of your uh, classical like title and URL or message or something like that. So you 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 can share a completely different message with the same for the same post. I see. Um, so for and you can space those out um, yes. at a time of your choosing. So for example, I might say, okay, this first message post immediately. Then wait for two days. Post this second one. Wait for a week and then a month and so on. And that's how it works. Yes. Okay. Uh, currently, this is only available uh, within WordPress um, plugin, uh, but we are working on uh, those kind of templates for the uh, app as well. So basically, you can uh, you can just uh, save the templates and have those messages uh, within an app as well. Okay. Sorry, I, I'm I'm confused now. What's the app? Do you yes. have a, like a, a SaaS version of this suite happening at the same time as the the WordPress version? Yes. Ah, yes. Okay. Because the uh, so our platform, you don't have to have like WordPress site. Obviously, we uh, we came from the WordPress world, right? Uh, and uh, that's why we have the best integration with WordPress. But if you don't want to use, if, or if you don't have a WordPress site, you can use us via RSS feed, or we are Got just. It. Messages. Yeah. Now I see the purpose of the RSS feed. Yes, I was kind yes. of wondering about yes. that. So you can suck in RSS feeds from Drupal, Joomla, whatever you like. Yes. Um, yes. And yes. it will work and you can log in to the web version and carry out the same activities. Yes. Yeah. Everything. Yes. Um, are there ways? So, for example, um, let's say that I want to, it's coming up to Christmas and I've got a mm-hmm. post that I've just produced and I want to um, have have a post on the first and the third and the fifth and so on. It, it, do you have sort of like a, a sort of calendar view where I can, oh, actually, it would be better if I dragged it over to the seventh instead. Can you do that kind of thing? Yes, yes. We have a calendar and a list view. Uh, cause, uh, some people like calendar, some people prefer list view. Mm-hmm. So uh, we have both and yes, you can drag and drop everything. You can add it, delete, schedule everything like the, on the, on the calendar, uh, both on a calendar and a list view, whichever, uh, you like better. Uh, we also have a calendar like for a, a view of daily, uh, weekly and monthly. So whatever you prefer. Right. Right. Okay. I've got it. Um, Okay, I'm looking over at your website at the moment, and I'm mm-hmm. I'm looking at the the sort of pricing page. I'm just wondering mm-hmm. if we spend a few minutes talking about the the sort of different offers that you've got and what those tiers are, because I can see four main ones. We've got small yeah. starter growth and business. I think for everybody here, it's always good to know what the differences is. Um, so let's go through those. Yes. Yeah, so basically, <clears throat> mostly uh, the uh, Pricing differs uh, how many social profiles you have, okay. and if you need uh, one users or multiple users okay. <clears throat> to log in. So for for example, for small businesses or for one person uh, business, uh, they usually use uh, either a small or a starter plan. Okay. Because that's for one user and for either 10 social accounts or 25 social accounts. That just depends how many social accounts they uh, they have and they want to connect to. Okay. Uh, for the uh, medium-sized businesses or for uh, social media managers that are uh, handling, they have clients that are uh, taking care of their uh, social media posting. Uh, so they are using the uh, growth and business uh plans uh so they, that's where you have like a multiply multiple users and yeah. more social accounts so 50 and 75 yes I if see. you need more if you need more we actually have the uh, white labeling uh we offer white labeling services as well ah. um and custom development 
Okay. So for example, for large enterprises, they always, well, they, they usually have some um, custom features that they want, uh, especially for them built in. So we do that as well. Okay. Um, so essentially, the smaller plans are for one user with 10 social accounts. Then you go up to the starter plan, which is mm -hmm. one one user, but this time with 25 social accounts. And then for those people whose job it is, I suppose, to manage things, you can use three yes. users on the growth plan with 50 accounts. And the business plan is uh, five users with 75 accounts. With yes. my, um, with, let's say, for example, that I was to take out the, the starter plan, um, one mm -hmm. user, but 25 accounts. Mm -hmm. Can I share those users out on a couple of WordPress websites or do they all have to be locked into the the one profile attached to one website no you can you can you can connect unlimited WordPress sites and unlimited RSS feeds oh that's good to know so, so as many as you can yes right I see so the one user is simply the me just logging the user in, but I yes. can log in wherever yes. I, I okay that's yes. great yes you can for example uh for the really really small businesses they only have like 25 social accounts but they have maybe two or three people that want to handle this yes they can share that one user a profile basically they yeah. don't need to go with you know if they have a, a less social account so yes that's pretty I've got it. Um, another thing which we always get asked to ask mm -hmm. people like you is to talk about any um, features. Now, we talked about possible uh, integrations with Pinterest and Instagram in the future, so we mm -hmm. know about that. But is there, any, is there anything to be shared uh, regarding a roadmap for the, for the future of Social Web Suite? So uh, <laughs> we are currently working on a version two. <laughs> so this is, I guess, the best time <laughs> that, oh, good, we, good. that we could talk about that. Um, and uh, we are hoping uh, that uh, we are now testing it, actually. And uh, it's on our development server. We are just testing it out. Uh, so we are hoping that it will be ready at the beginning of March um uh, to, to be released so uh what we found out and how we actually um, get to this uh, version two is because uh, we have been uh, out for one year we have been live for one year mm -hmm. and um, we have a lot of feedback you know from our users and that's how we realized that um, we tr we had to simplify uh, uh, all the processes for them as much as we can so what we do now is, um, as I said, those sad and forget it users. So we now even simplify it for them as well more. Uh, basically, uh, you can just come, uh, connect your site, connect your Beatly account if you want. I forgot to mention that uh, we have integration with Beatly as oh, well okay. as we pulled up the, URLs, pulled the yeah, yeah. analytics analytics from Beatly as well within the RF. Oh, yes, so you can check yeah, the link links and everything, which is mm. which is really great. That's why I always tell people to connect. Like and Beatly is free, so yeah. you can always, you know, uh, open the account. So uh, connect your Beatly, connect your source, which is RSS feed or YouTube or WordPress. And then, uh, and then, um, either schedule, you, either you can schedule your own if you have your your preferences uh, exactly which which time you want every week to be repeated, like the post, or you can leave that scheduling to us. So we we schedule everything for you. That's the starter schedule, basically uh, based on best practices and influencer recommendations and those types of things like uh, that we talked about it. Uh, you know, for LinkedIn, you should post once a daily and that's pretty much enough because that's like mm. a business platform. Yeah. You don't want to spam people there. Yeah. For Facebook, you can post one or two times. And then for Twitter, you, you have to post at least four times a daily because it's really short a period that your post is actually, that your message is actually seen. I did not know that. There you go. A so, little, <laughs> little bit of that, gold. Great. Good to know. That's why we, yeah. Well, at least, like they say four to six times. So basically, yeah. Uh, so that's why we, we put that uh, sort of scheduling as well as um, uh, we have, uh, uh, because we are pulling all the stuff from the WordPress already and we have a scheduling per categories from the WordPress. So now we, we made everything into categories. So the, everybody likes content categories uh, because it's better organized and they can have like um, 
For example, you know how people are grumpy on Monday morning because it's Monday, right? <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> so, yeah. So you don't want to push your serious posts on Monday morning because people will not really be happy reading something like that when they are already grumpy that because they have to work. So you have to put, like, you post them something like funny or some infomercial or some tips and tricks and those, like, short messages that people's going to like. And uh, so uh, our schedule is based on that as well, like on, on a psychology, what goes best when. Right, right. So, yeah, we, we, we took a lot of time to like figure that everything. So, yeah, but basically once when you finish with onboarding, which is only like four steps, it's not like a long. So uh, you, you have everything scheduled, uh, but our uh, scheduling is paused until you are really happy with it. Right. So you can still change everything. Nothing will be shared. You can still change everything, whatever you don't want to delete, edit, you know, drag and drop uh, and uh, or delete our schedule completely if you don't like it. So you're going to automate all this stuff. This is great. Yes, 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 yes. That's that's our uh, main goal. And then, as I said, once when we uh, finish with this and release it, uh, then uh, we're going to do the Instagram integration and mobile app. A mobile and, app. Go on. That yes. sounds interesting. <laughs> well, the mobile app, obviously, the first version will be uh, just for the, uh, you know, when you are on a conference, for example, and you want to post something immediately, you know, you're taking a picture. And uh, because we go to a lot of conferences, so <laughs> that's why, <laughs> you know, uh, there is a need for it, obviously, for us. So for now, you can log it from mobile, but it's easier if you have a mobile app. Oh, and yes. It's just, yeah. you know, got the camera right there and all of yeah. that sort of stuff. Yes. And you, you know, just got a camera. I'm here. I'm enjoying this like awesome talk from some great uh, speaker and those types of things. So basically, and then you, you, you just add those hashtags and yep. whatever. Yeah. So it's That'll easy. Be great. I think so. Yeah, yeah. I think that's that's uh, that that will be easier for people. And then uh, later on, uh, our plan is to, as I said, uh, add those templates, which I hope you're gonna like it, because <laughs> yes. they are gonna. We have like uh, a few ideas how to do it, and we are trying to <laughs> incorporate all of them. <laughs> So we're going to see how that's going to work. So uh, as I said, because we have a few different type of users. So, you know, one, one of them like um, sort of um, a missing letter, what does? Yes, You yes, know yes. how they yeah, pull stuff. So we already do that with our RSS feed. We already pulled uh, pull everything from the RSS feed. So uh, basically, we already have that in the back end. This is very so exciting. We- You've got lots going on, haven't you? Really? <laughs> yes. A, a big, yeah. a big, big push. Um, it's obviously you've been going for a year and you've got a lot of yes. growth. Um, you can go over to the website. Uh, if you go over to socialwebsuite.com, there is a video about three inches from the top. It's probably the best way of describing how it works is to just watch that video because it shows you um, in very simple terms where everything is, what it looks like, how you will move stuff, how you will actually um, update your content and post it and make sure it's configured correctly. But also possibly worth mentioning is that uh, along with that pricing, there is a 14 day free trial. And should you um, decide that you want to go for it, Tina's been very, very generous. She's given us uh, a code. Uh, WP Builds is the offer code. Now it's capital W, capital P, capital B. And then the rest of it is all in small letters. I'll post it in the show notes, but that's going to get you uh, 30% off for the first three months of your account. So WP Builds, 30% off for the first three months of your account. That's very generous. Thank you so much for that. Um, just before we go, Tina, I was going to mm-hmm. ask, is there, is, <laughs> normally I ask this of people <laughs> because they, mm-hmm. you know, we don't know what their social standing is and we don't know what yes. their profile is and things, but we, I guess you've said this a million times. Mm-hmm. Tell us where you can be found on the internet and what your Twitter feed is and all of that kind of stuff. So, well, uh, uh, for the social web suite, we have a page, like the Facebook page. Uh, we have the uh, Twitter, everything is social web suite, and the LinkedIn profile, <clears throat> uh, Instagram, and Pinterest. So everything is social web suite wherever you go. Yeah. 
<laughs> it's easy, right? Yeah. And uh, <clears throat> for me personally, uh, you can find me on LinkedIn, Tina Todorovic, uh, on uh, Facebook, uh, Tina Todorovic, or on uh, WordPress.org, or on uh, Twitter, Tina to T-O, like uh, <clears throat> Toronto and Todorovic at the same time. <laughs> yeah, it's T-O-D-O-R-I, oh, sorry, T-O-D-O-R-O-V-I-C. There we go. Yeah, so many O's, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 I hadn't really thought about that. But it's Todorovic, get it right. Yes. Um, so, yeah, obviously, uh, Tina is everywhere on the internet because that's what she's got. That's her, her business <laughs> is to be everywhere yes. on the internet. It's a really great product. It looks like the perfect solution for people who, well, A, use WordPress. That's everybody listening to this. Yes. But B, uh, produce content and want that content to be read more, discovered more. This is the way to do it, isn't it? You know, get it out yes. on social, but don't waste a ton of time doing it. Um Tina, thanks for coming on and telling us all about Social Web Suite. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for having me. Uh, and yeah, if anybody has any questions, my email is tina at socialwebsuite.com. I am happy to answer all those questions and reply to emails. Or if you just want to say hi, uh, I am happy for that as well. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thanks very much indeed. <laughs> Thank you. Have a nice day. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that. If you were listening to that podcast episode and you were thinking, I would really like to see how that works, go to wpbuilds.com forward slash webinars and on there somewhere will be the social web suite link and you can watch the, the webinar that we did and you can actually see all the screens and how it all works if you fancy doing that. The WP Builds podcast was brought to you today by WP and Up. One in four of us will be directly affected by mental health-related illness. WP and Ops supports and promotes positive mental health within the WordPress community. This is achieved through mentorships, events, training and counselling. Please help enable WP and Op by visiting wpnop.org forward slash give. Together, we can hashtag press forward. Okay, thanks for listening this week. Maybe I'll see you again on Monday for the WordPress Weekly News that we put out. 15 minutes of audio content telling you about what happened in the previous week. Well, concerning WordPress. If we don't see you then, maybe we'll see you on Thursday for the podcast episode. And perhaps we'll see you on a webinar or two. I'm going to fade in what is some really seriously cheesy music this week and say bye-bye for now. Mm-hmm.